poor teacher, so I'm really sad that you see him go. But I got a little story about him, that he let, when I knew he would be a comic. Uh, me and him, we were in a class called Library, you know, because that's a class. Yeah. Uh, we were uh, about eight years old, and this person had to deal with both of us. I feel so bad for her, she probably did. <laughs> um, you know, we were horsing around like we normally do, and uh, you know, until she got to a point where she's like, one more time, you're get your act. No, that will usually stop me, I'm a bit of a puss, but not Simon. Simon always went the whole way. So he kept going, he kept going. Teacher finally had enough, she's like, Simon, get out. He's like, no. She's like, Simon, get out of my sight. He's like, close your eyes. <laughs> And at nine years old, at that point, we knew he'd be a success. <laughs> My name's Irving Wolf. I'm 38 years old, and I'm currently a server downtown in a restaurant. Woo! Woo! Cool, kids. Also sexy as fuck. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> now I know, and I know exactly why comedians and actors make the best servers. It's because every day I go to every day I go to work, I have to smile and act like I give a shit. <laughs> Woo! You know, people coming in, hey, it's my first time here. That's great. <laughs> you know, or hey, it's my birthday. Way to go! What a what an accomplishment! <laughs> Fuck, you know, uh, birthdays are like kids. At least, you know, for example, if kids, if they're mine or someone who's close to me, I care. If they're not, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I used to be a manager at a restaurant, and when you're a manager, they teach you, you know, you really need to listen to guests, what they're saying, so you can solve any problem they may have. So one lady came up to me, she's like, excuse me, are you the manager? I said, yes, how may I help you? She's like, well, I don't want to complain. I said, great, thank you, and I walked away. <laughs> because I really wanted to listen, you know. <laughs> but working in restaurants is not all bad. I met my wife working in a restaurant, I sexually harassed her until she went out with me. You know, they don't show that on HR videos, sexual harassment success stories. Illegal, but effective. Yeah. My wife, she's Mongolian, which if you don't know, that's a form of Asian. Not the good math Asian, it's the I'll cut your pocket, take your change when you walk away kind of Asian. She is cheap as shit. I'm not even joking. She hates when I call her that, but I mean, I don't know how else you explain when someone goes to the clearance aisle at Safeway and tries to save 30 cents on brown lettuce. You know, that's cheap. But she likes frugal or resourceful. <laughs> Whatever she wants, she's the wife. She came home one day. She's like, Ernie, I got you something. I'm like, sweet. She takes it out of the bag. It's a pair of jeans. I'm like, great. She always leaves a tag on, so I know they were like $4.99 clearance. That's fine. I don't care. She's frugal. I try them on. I'm like, sweetie, they're, they're too small. You gotta bring them back. I can't. They're on clearance. They don't fit. She's like, we'll make them fit. <laughs> okay, that's how it's gonna be. That's fine. The next day, I came home. I had a bra two sizes too big. I'm like, here you go. We'll make you fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I like the couch. The couch is comfortable. <laughs> My wife, she also likes to watch uh, these housewife shows, you know, the, uh, whatever, Bravo, whatever's on Bravo, she'll watch. You know, she, I guess they were talking about, uh, you know, dirty talk, you know, dirty talk, and I'm like, oh, okay, same. She's like, maybe we should try that. Okay, all right, that sounds good. Anytime someone suggests something new in the bedroom, I think that's a good idea, sometimes, maybe. And uh, I'm like, all right, because we're pretty regimented, I got about a week to prepare. You know, but honestly, it's not something you can look up on the internet, you know, because if you put anything like that on the internet, this is a whole bunch of shit that comes up you don't want to see. It. So, you know, I start to do research. I went to go watch uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, no. Anyone else seen that? No. Yeah. I've seen it. I've read it. <laughs> well, I don't care. I don't know how to read. I've watched the movie like most men do. A lot of people have seen it. I know. It's okay. And I'm watching this movie, and I don't get anything from it. I mean, there's not an erotic scene to me at all. You know, the only kind of okay part was when they got in the, uh, was when they got in the helicopter, flew over the space needle, and there was the 12th man flag. That got me a little excited. <laughs> Which is 
is awesome because now the correlation is great because Fifty Shades of Grey is about people being tied up, and hey, the Seahawks like that too. Oh. <laughs> 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 anyway, so the day is coming up, you know, and I'm like getting excited. I got these awesome sentences going, and I'm ready. You know, and it comes up, and I, I just draw a blank, and I don't know what to say. And she's like, are you, are you gonna? Are you gonna? What? Oh, uh, and I, I just drew a blank. I didn't know what to say. So I said the most racist thing that came to mind. <laughs> I'm gonna split your legs like chopsticks. <laughs> and she just stopped, and she's like, what? Let's make soy sauce! <laughs> It, it was just not a good day. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> Thanks to my uh, sexual method of forgetting to pull out, we got two great kids. <laughs> They're pretty awesome. You know, uh, when the first one was born, we knew that what we were going to name him, I had a name picked out, it was great. And I made my wife go with it. <laughs> the second one, which when we found out, uh, you know, she was pregnant, she's like, I get to name him. I'm like, all right, that's fair. I think that's fair. So we find out it's a boy, and we're laying in bed, and she's like, well, we should start thinking of names. I agree. Let's start thinking of names. So the first name, she's like, it's like, oh, something. I'm like, uh, I thought she was clearing her throat, but that wasn't it. The next one, she's like, what do you think of the name Gunbutt? <laughs> Gunbutt? <laughs> Is that a thing? It's apparently a Mongolian name. I'm like, no. Uh, I got two rules when it comes to naming my kids. Number one, I have to be able to pronounce it. Call me old-fashioned. Number two, I don't want him getting his ass kicked every day at school. Okay, that's just the rule. Let's move on. Pick something else. Any uh, any new parents out there? Wow. Okay. <laughs> no one. Don't worry. I've had two. Jack's had two. We got three, you know, all over the place. Um, come, when it comes to naming your kids, you need to take this very seriously. You know, you, you see what's going on around the world and we can't pronounce names or whatever. But don't think of it as bad parenting or good parenting. The only way you're ever going to know if you're a good parent or a bad parent is by the way your kids act. You know, uh, it was late one Saturday night. I stayed until 2 o'clock in the morning at work. I got home. Oh, I didn't wait. You know, I wasn't feeling very well. 9.45, my oldest son slaps me in the face with a jersey hit and says, Daddy, get up! Seahawks are on in 15 minutes! That is good parenting. <laughs> you know, he did right. But of course it works both ways. <laughs> uh, one time I was on the phone talking to one of my good friends, and uh, he's telling me this unbelievable thing that happened at work. I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. He keeps going, he keeps going. I'm like, oh my god, what the... But I caught myself, because I'm a good dad. Right? We kind of talked about that. <laughs> and my youngest son comes up to me and says, Daddy, Daddy, you meant to say, what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I did, gun butt. <laughs> but that led us to know that, hey, you know, we may need a cuss bucket in the house, you know. And now, of course, me and my oldest son were probably the ones paying the most money. But there was one person who refused to put money in the bucket. And when she swore, I'm like, hey, you gotta put money in the bucket. She said, no, because I'm frugal. <laughs> <laughs> my glass fucked up. <laughs> Shit! Damn it! Ah! Here's a 20. <laughs> and then one day all the money went missing. I'm like, what the hell happened? I asked my wife, hey, what happened? She's like, I'm resourceful. <laughs> I said, guys, Simon, I'm gonna miss you very much. Give my time, 